Tyron Booth, IFL TV. And you Quick Frampton, I'm good, you know. Benjamin Boot. I'm good, you know. You know, because I've got a fight tomorrow. Yeah. Quick Frampton. Looking forward to it. I have to, um, I have to get you involved. You know, get your opinion. The main man. Yeah, try not to kick that camera, you know. No, you I'm know, them toes. I'm not going to kick it. Don't worry. You know me wearing this t-shirt? Yeah. Is it inappropriate for a Muslim house? No, nah, bro. She's in a bra, you know. Yes. She's in a bra. Shall I put my jumper on? No, it looks good. So all right. Yeah. I try to like crease it, you know, so you can't really see the the bra. No, no, no. It's, it's all good. good. I put my hand there. It's halal, that. It's what? It's halal. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the fight tomorrow, quick front. Yeah. What do you think? Um, it's a good fight. I can't wait for me. I can't wait to see the fight tomorrow. Mm. It's gonna be an exciting fight. They both can punch, and uh, it's gonna be a good night. Who have you got? Boxer. Who have you got? I've got Frampton. Who have you got? You know what? This is embarrassing. You know, I'm doing an interview about Quick Frampton. I don't know any of them. You don't know? I haven't them? seen any of them box. I'm not interested in Quick Frampton or Rigonda. Like you're the only person. I'm not just saying that because I'm sat next to you. Yeah. You're the only person I watch. You know, out of that little circle. Yeah. So. Because uh, you know me. Yeah, exactly. You know. You're hardcore. You're like a hardcore fan, yeah. Yeah, I know. Obviously, I'm, you need. Do you read all the forums and stuff like that? No, 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 but I know everyone in my weight division, below yeah. my weight division, above my weight division, most weight divisions, you got to know, and yeah. Mm. Could end up finding one, any of them. Yeah, you could, you know. I heard you were in school quick, you know, in sparring. Is that true or is that a rumour? <sighs> it is true. You schooled him, yeah? It was, um, he took a very, very bad beat down that day. Um, Ingle style. Ingle style, took him to the school, boxing school of Ingles. Mm. And, um, did a job on him mentally. Yeah, is that why he's avoiding you? Because I was thinking, you know, these guys avoiding you. You know, if they box you like six months ago, they won't be having this box office fight, would they, tomorrow, earning them big pay? No, because, because you like might have beat them, one of them. Exactly. With the so that fight would have fell through, you know, they fight tomorrow. Yeah. So, you know, financially, do you think it was a good idea for them to avoid you? Of course it is. It's a, it, they're both, they're both going to make a, a shitload of money and uh, raise the profile up. Mm. They're not even fine. They're none of them are the best super band in the world, are they? Rukonda was. Yeah. But the, the oh, so you're saying that? You are admitting that? But I'm, I'm out the scene at the minute, so I can't be kind of... Yeah, you're, you're back at what? September, yeah? Could be back sooner. Sooner? Very soon. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Imagine if I could, imagine if I come back next week. Yeah, but you're, you know, if your, your combat fight was against Rukonda and you beat him, I know it's like... It, that's not realistic. Yeah, but yeah. it's... Is it though? How good is it? How good? I should have researched these people, you know, before doing this interview. We've gone down one a few gold medals, you know. He's yeah, good, the best Olympic, best amateur fighters Q have ever produced. Mm. He's solid. He's he's well rounded. He can punch, and uh, he's a very very good boxer. To beat someone like him, you've got to be very intelligent and uh, find weaknesses in him. And I don't believe Quig or Frampton can, can beat someone like him. I think the only person who can beat a fighter like Rigondeau is someone like me. Yeah. So you yeah. think um, your mate Jazza Dickens is going to get battered? No, I've been spotting Jazza for this fight. Yeah, he's been spotting. And he's, he's, he's sharp. And he's has, he, has he improved, you know, since you boxed him? Yeah, he's improved a lot. He's got a lot better. He's stronger. He, he's more intelligent. He's not He's not as reckless. And uh, he's, got, he's got a very good chance of beating Rigondeau. Mm. People don't. People are writing him off but he's got a good chance you never know in boxing to you know how it is yeah one shot can change everything you know when you box at Jazza Dickens mm -hmm. you know the weighing yeah when he was waiting to get weighed he was stood there you know in his boxer shorts yeah and he had his hands down his pants yeah. and all the cameras are on him and he's like looking around you know like that with his hands down his pants yeah because he's and I thought don't this guy know that the cameras are on him yeah but he's probably he's from Liverpool and he's a scally you're gonna do that they, put, they leave the hands down the pants a scal scally yeah yeah you're a scal so aren't you yeah I'm a scal scally myself mm. I do them kind of moves yeah been there today I'd see my brothers went down there yeah uh, yeah we're good Jazza Jazza when's his fight I think it's the 13th of March, two, well, three weeks. You know Carl Frampton, yeah? Yeah. I don't want to shit to Yeah. But there's a video on YouTube, you know, where Naz is being interviewed. Yeah. And um, 
Nas says that he spoke to you and he says, um, stay away from Carl Frampton. Yeah. And he said that you said, don't worry because I will. Is that true? Come on. Or is he just yeah. like shit story? He was just, Nas is, um, Nas is obviously chatting shit. Mm. Because, um, why would I ever say yes? Can you imagine me saying, oh, yes, Naz, I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to stay away from Carl Frampton. Can you, can you, do you think I'd say something like that? You know what I think it is? Go on. You know, because like there's been loads of um, press about you, you know, media type stuff where yeah. there's been headlines saying, Kid Galad's the next Naz. Yeah. So he's probably seen all this and he's probably thought, you know what, I don't want anyone else stealing my thunder, you know. I want to be the only person spoke about in the Ingle gym. I don't want to be replaced. So he could just be hating, you know, on you, like just, yeah, but just me and, slandering. Me and being as had a little bit of a fall out a while back, and anyway, we had a bit of an argument over something. And that's when that's when he turned around and said that. Oh, is that why? That no, that was that was uh, after it. No, I'm saying you know when he said that you was avoiding Frampton. Yeah. Was that after your little argument? Yeah. Yeah. We had a little argument. He, he um, sometimes he still thinks he's, he, he's still champ. Mm. in his head but you know after boxing no one cares no more yeah that's it you know some boxers who have like experienced that buzz yeah. you know when it's over it's over you know like Hatton he was popular wasn't he yeah everyone's calling him champ when he went, yeah, walked Hatton's in the streets Hatton's but you know Hatton's when he retired you know when he lost yeah and people were just saying oh look at that fat cunt getting pissed in the pub he Hatton. slit his wrists no, Hatton's different to Some people bro. can't handle, Hatton. you know, going from like that to not like nothing. Yeah, but Hatton's, Hatton, Hatton's, uh, um, Hatton hasn't changed since he's, since he's been champ. He's always been a nice guy. Yeah, but... I met, I met him when he was champ and when he is now, and he's always been the same Ricky Hatton. Yeah, I went to he's a gym a to spar and he's, he's humble, isn't he? Champ. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I like that guy. He is, he's a true people's champ. But I'm saying that some people don't like being out of the spotlight, do they? Yeah. You know, like nuts, so he'll see you coming along and start talking a lot of shit on a that's, YouTube that, boss. That's, that's saying, you're basically saying that he's hating. Yeah. That's not a good thing. Yeah, but he shouldn't be hating because of, you know, like he's achieved, has not he? Exactly, he's achieved a lot. I ain't achieved um, not even a, a quarter of what he's achieved. Yeah, but even if you achieve as much or more than he does, yeah. you know, because of his like, his uh, style and his dancing and all that, doing flips. Yeah. Not really many people do that, do they? Oh, Naz is a, a living legend, isn't he? Yeah, so he should just be satisfied with that and just be um, just chilled out. I think he, um, I think he's realised that he could have done a lot more, mm. but it's too late now. Why oh, he underachieved? You mean? Yeah, he's underachieved. I think he's realised that he's underachieved. Yeah, because well, of the money, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, you know, if you made that money, yeah. do you think you could still run up them horrible hills in the cold? Yeah. Stay home. My, my, like my, my, my mindset is different to Naz's. Mm. If Mayweather's done it, he look yeah, how much money and he's still putting in that that graph. Depends how hungry you are. Depends how your mindset is. Yeah. Yeah. If You're starving, like, aren't you? I'm starving. Look at me, man. You know, like a few days after you got banned for two years, yeah. you was in the gym doing sit-ups. Yeah. That's hardcore. You know you're not boxing for two years, but you're doing sit-ups. Yeah, but that's me, it's it? good, I'm man. hardcore. Like my years. You know how Gym I rap, yeah? Yeah. You know, me too, you know, how, you know how I roll. Mm. You know that two years I'm going to take advantage of and develop and become even a better fighter. I'm not going to let myself go and just be another bum, mm. make numbers out, make numbers in the boxing world. But you know these fights that are happening now, like yeah. Craig Frampton, Jazza against Rigondo. Yeah. In a way, it's good that your you know your band's kind of coming to an end, because if they was fighting now, mm -hmm. and you've just been banned for two years, yeah, you'd have to like sit through all that and think, oh, I've got two years until I can get involved. Yeah. But your band's nearly up, so plus you got injured anyway. You know your hand. Yeah. But you're right now, yeah. Yeah, my hands fully healed, back, hundred percent, punching hundred percent, both hands. Mm. So when you when I get back, you're gonna see some serious. People leaving in stretches. Yeah, you know you. You're, a, yeah. you're you know in the ring you're a con, you know. You know that don't you? Yeah. Well, you have to be in boxing, don't you? Of course you do. You, you know now when he was body sparring, he used to punch yeah. him to the face. You know, deliberately. Accidentally on purpose. Yeah, you, sometimes says. you gotta do that when someone clips you, you have to clip him straight back. But you know like do you headbutt deliberately? 
Me? Yeah. Because you, you know when you went to, did you go to Pacquiao's gym? Yeah. You know when you came back? Yeah. You came back with all kind of um, moves, you know? Nah. You know, like old school moves. You know, like getting the, getting the um, yeah. You know, she I mean, like a fight. That's what I was. You, you know, like you come back rougher. That's the that's the point I was trying to make. You know, you try to say I come back rougher. Did I you come back rough? I was I was a rough before I left. I just stand when you're in the gym, you can't. The same people, you can't do it. But with bigger guys like you, I can do it. Yeah, do what? Cause you can all it. Mm. With smaller guys, then you can't do it. Yeah, but true. Bigger guys like you can all it. Mm. So that body. Yeah. Can yeah, you know Naz. Yeah. Yeah. I heard a story about him when he was in the gym. Mm-hmm. And there was this little guy, he was a little prospect. I think he was called Daniel Teasdale. Yeah. He was like the next best thing, you know, won all these amateur t- titles. Yeah. Well, Naz went up to him and said, tie my gloves. Yeah. And Daniel Teasdale, he was only a little kid, says, say please. And Naz says, just tie my glove. So he said, say please and I'll tie it. So Naz punched him in his stomach, you know, made him cry. And then the guy went and told his parents. Yeah. And they got the police involved. Yeah, but that's bully tactics. You can't be bullying little kids. No, if he did do that, you don't know though. It could be. It could be not. It could be. It could be a rumor. It could be just a rumor. People chatting shit. Yeah, there's people trying to uh, people chop do, their arm. People do do love to chat shit. Yeah, they do. You know, but you know. Could be, it could be. It could be. It could be true. You never know. I'm just saying. You, you need to. You need to ask him next time you see him. See him. See him. Was that true? Does he still come to Sheffield or does he avoid people because he crashed into that guy, didn't he? And no, he still comes down to Sheffield. I've seen him. Does he get slandered? No, not really. You know, for the hit and run? No, I don't think so. I ain't, I ain't seen no one slander him in front of me. Yeah. He's, uh, he's always down He's always down here, isn't he? Comes and sees his mum lives up here. And when you see him, is he a bit dodgy with you? Because you're like that? Uh, not really, no. I ain't seen him for a while, to be honest with you. But no. Mm. He's always okay with me. Has this interview been dodgy? Why? Because people say I'm a dodgy interviewer, you know. Yeah, but I really... know you too, don't I? So I know you're not dodgy. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't take it personal, you know. Who? Who? You know, these people who get offended. This guy started walking, walking away from an interview I was doing with him. <laughs> you know, halfway through. Who was it? Because I started quoting that Prince Patel. I started quoting things that he'd said in interviews. Yeah. And the person who I was interviewing started getting upset. You know, cause, you know, if I sat here now and I started talking about a load of sexual things. Yeah. You might get a bit uh, pissed off with it, and you'd be right to. No. But I was just no. quoting Patel. You know. Yeah. Talking to someone who was in his weight division. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it don't really matter. No, I, I like Patel. You like him, yeah? Yeah, I like. I like how he. Um, I like the charismatic me. He's, he's he's good, bro. You know what do you mean good? What boxing wise? Yeah, he because he hasn't really done anything, has he? No, he hasn't. But he hasn't been tested, has he? But so far, I think he, he looks good. Early days. I like him. I like how I like his interviews. Mate. Yeah, but that's what I was gonna say. You know, you know when we was at that show the other day in yeah. Rotherham, he was sat ringside, wasn't he? Yeah. And I was sat next to him like this. Yeah. And it was like a load of people, you know, trying to take pictures, pictures of him. Really? You know, trying to get past the security to get to him. Yeah. To talk to him even a friendly way or to have a go at him. Yeah. So you know that kind of like interest that he's created by talking about his yeah. dick? It's, um, it can be seen as cringeworthy, but you know, it got him a lot of publicity, didn't it? Yeah, it did. But you know you... Good publicity or bad publicity is... But good. you don't really do that, do you? You're like, you just win. You I'll know, let, big I'll titles. I let these do the top, brother. Yeah. You know when you won the European title, I said, oh, he... You must be proud of yourself, you know, really pleased. And you was like, not really. I'll be pleased when I'm world champion. Yeah, because that's that's what I want to do. Is anyone can anyone can win world titles and win European titles and British titles, but you got to do something for what no one else has done. Mm. What's your goal? Then? I want to win three or four different world titles in different weights. Yeah, that's good, you know. September's the return. It's a T T man. Oh, it might be before, yeah. Before that T. How hard has it been? Imagine you know, to be out of the ring for two years. Did you think, oh, I'm gonna have to get a job? No. Or go to college? And I, just thought, I just thought to myself, yeah, I'm gonna have to put in some more hard work, put in that even more, even more graft. Mm. Yeah. Two years. Did you think because you've done a lot of sparring, haven't you? I know sparring's different to fighting, but do you feel a bit rusty? Not really, no. As long as you get plenty of sparring done. 
You don't. You. Jim Rock. Yeah. You spar Kel Brook. Always. He's good man. Best guy I've ever sparred. Do you hold your own? Uh, yeah, yeah, to a yeah. certain extent, yeah. Different weights. Different weights. Dick Kelbrook's a big guy, man. Very, mm. very talented fighter. Who's the, who's the best talent of fighter you've been in the ring with? What, sparring? Sparring. It's probably uh, Johnny Nelson. You think so? Yeah. Different. He's different to... Um, yeah, he's irritating. Johnny was different to Kel. Kel's he's not as aggressive, Johnny. No, he's not. But he kind of like bore you into just falling asleep and then he'll nail you. Yeah. Right in the chest bone. Right hand. Straight down the middle. Right hand. Yeah, he'll bore you to lose it concentration. Was hard to clean, really. But you know you. Yeah. You're focused, aren't you? You know when you're in the gym, if someone says hello, Barry, yeah. you'll ignore him, won't you? Of course I will. Yeah, that's good, you know. You gotta be focused, there yeah. to learn, man. You're not there to fucking make friends. Socialise. Or, or socialise, can do that after. You could get killed. Or put in a wheelchair, you know, like Gerald McLennan. I know, that's sad, that. So you have to stay on it. That's what we've chosen to do, so. Be ignorant. You know, you've got to go in there and either me or him who's leaving out in a yeah. stretcher. A stretcher? Yeah. Have you ever put anyone on a stretcher? Um. In the ring, I mean. I think I put a couple of people on the stretcher. Did you? What, they got carried out of the ring on a stretcher? No, they ain't got carried in the stretcher, but afterwards they've, they've gone to the A&E. Mm. Are you going to go to this fight tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going, fight down, I'm going down with the Kel. I'm going to go down. Should be a good fight. Interesting. Mm. Um, should be a good night boxing. Yeah. Some good see. fights on the undercard as well. Who's that? There's a few, there's a, there's a other Irish kid, Ryan Bennett, mm. um, Gavin McDonald, um, who else is he? Oh, he's your weight, isn't he? Yeah. Gavin McDonald? Yeah. Have I'm you got so. the edge? What do you mean? Over him? Yeah. Gavin? Of course Because he was European champion, wasn't he? He was. Yeah, but... but I don't know why, that could be misleading. Like I said, bro, there's different levels, isn't there? You know when I start talking about things like this, I should research it, you know. You need to research You need to research the people. I don't call me bothered. You know, like when I go on interview boxes at shows. Yeah. The people say, oh, like the people who ask me to do it say, oh, do a bit of research on it. That's why my interviews are dodgy, because I don't really know enough about them. But you're like a, you're like, yeah. You need to start doing research, you too. Mm. The interviews will be 10 times better. Yeah, they're terrible. <laughs> Casual, innit? This isn't even an interview, it's just a little casual chat, but shall we leave it? You got anything else you want to say? No, you, you need to ask me more questions. Dodgy. Some dodgy questions. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, you know. You know that me telling you about that guy walking off? Yeah. I don't like um, upsetting people. No, if... Some if, people are easily offended, aren't they? Yeah, but come on, see, I don't get offended. Yeah, you seem chilled out. Oof. If I didn't want to answer the question, you know, I'd say no comment. No comment, yeah? Yeah. Well, I plead the fifth. Mm. You know when um, you got banned? I don't want to keep going on about this, you know, because yeah. it seems negative, but... You know when you was winning titles? Yeah. There were certain people around you? Yeah. And you know when you got banned, they were still around? So you got some true friends, yeah? Yeah, of course. True thick and thin. Thick, thick and thinners, that's what they are, you know? They are. They're these true friends, aren't they? No matter what, you're always going to have the tag ones, aren't you? Mm. As long as you know the tag along, then you can't really upset you, can they? Yeah, that's it, you know. Oh, right, that'll do. I need a toilet. I need to get out of here. You know? need to go upstairs on your left, straight down. All right, shall we leave it? We'll leave it there, yeah. We'll leave thanks it for that, anyway, Barry. Okay. What? For? Yeah, for, all right, thanks. Done. Done. Done and dusted, yeah? Yeah. My arms are looking bigger than yours, dirty. Hmm. Pink juice. Oh. Is that hand recovered or not? Yeah. Why? Are you stronger than Dominic Ingle? Of course I fucking am. Are I, you really? Yeah, you can't, you can't fight. No, oh, me. where's my phone to you? I would have showed you a video. I said that for you. Hold on, I need the toilet. Caught. Caught. 